Uh, sonic disobedience here on Democracy Now!, democracynow.org, The War and Peace Report. I'm Amy Goodman. As we return to our exclusive interview with WikiLeaks founder Julian Assange, I spoke to him inside the Ecuadorian embassy on Memorial Day, where he's taken refuge for the past almost three years. On Wednesday, WikiLeaks added more than a half a million U.S. diplomatic cables from 1978 to its Public Library of U.S. Diplomacy database. The documents include diplomatic cables and other diplomatic communications from and to U.S. embassies and missions in nearly every country. I asked Julian Assange to talk about the significance of the documents. The U.S. State Department cables, uh, 1978, was a very interesting period. Uh, these cables have come through the State Department system, international archives, uh, and we have sucked them all out and put them into our system, um, where we now have more than two million uh, cables in the collection, or all indexed. So 1978, um, very interesting time period. We have deliberately released all 400,000 at once to everyone. Um, so no one's had an opportunity to cherry pick, uh, and we haven't done that either. Uh, what we have done is identified broad areas which are, are very interesting. For example, 1978 actually set in uh, progress uh, many of the regional elements, the geopolitical elements uh, that are playing out today. For example, 1978 was the beginning of the Iranian Revolution. Uh, it wasn't until 1979 that it succeeded, uh, but the push against the Shah uh, started in 1978 uh, with demonstrations and killings in, re in response. Similarly, Nicaragua, in 1978, the Sandinista movement uh, started uh, in its popular form as a result of the killing of a newspaper editor and was complete uh, within two years. Um, Afghanistan. The war period in Afghanistan began in 1978 and hasn't stopped since. Uh, it was the Soviet-friendly government came in uh, in 1978, the assassination of the previous president, the arrival of uh, Soviet special forces towards the end of the year. 1978 saw the Vietnamese invasion of Cambodia. And while you might think, oh, well, that just concerns Vietnam and Cambodia, no, this is an important consequence of the Vietnam War uh, and how Cambodia was used um, and became a Chinese uh, and American proxy in relation to Vietnam. So China, the UK, US, supported uh, Cambodia against the Vietnamese. Uh, the Vietnamese prevailed, but the conflict also led to a finalization uh, of what had started under Kissinger's rapprochement with China, a decisive move to configure China against the Soviet Union uh, and onto the, the US side of the Cold War conflict. And uh, this war with Vietnam is something that facilitated uh, Brzezinski's uh, visit to China and the eventual um, normalization of relations, which occurred shortly after. When it comes to Afghanistan, Zbigniew Brzezinski, in an interview with a French newspaper, uh, talked about the arming of the Mujahideen, of Osama bin Laden and others, saying, what's a few riled up Muslims? It, w it was uh, Brzezinski's, the moment of history that Brzezinski is the proudest of, is in fact um, Afghanistan. Uh, and creating a Vietnam for the Soviet Union in Afghanistan by arming the Mujahideen uh, and bin Laden. So that the and Soviets that, that, would have their own quagmire. So the Soviets would have their own quagmire, which they did. Uh, and that started 